Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So Colorado State has now issued their updated forecast for the season. Not the kind of numbers that you want to hear. They've actually upped the numbers back in June. They were forecasting 15 name storms. They've upped that to 18. They've upped the hurricanes to nine and they've doubled the number of major hurricanes from two to four. You can see the averages over there. So essentially what they're calling for is an above average season. Now we do have El Nino in place and they are expecting it to peak as the season goes on. But also they've noticed and they have noted that we have very, very warm waters across the tropical Atlantic, the Caribbean. And we've been talking about that for several weeks now, these very warm waters. And at least some of that very warm water is going to counteract the uh, effects of El Nino. So none of this tells you where any of these storms are going. But just the worry is, think of it as a dartboard. If I have more darts to throw, I have a better chance of hitting my target, that being somewhere along the U.S. coastline or for us, we're talking about Florida. But that idea is if you've got more storms out there, you have a higher likelihood that one of these storms could affect you. But as of now, things are quiet. You look across the Gulf of Mexico, you look down into the Caribbean. Now we have pretty quiet conditions. The other thing is we have some of this dust, this dry air, which is working its way uh, through at least a portion of the Caribbean into the Western Atlantic and also quite a bit of it working its way off the coast of Africa. So we're dealing with a lot of this dry air and this dust in the atmosphere, which certainly helps out our cause because it reduces the ability of these systems to form. So you're just not seeing any significant development with any of these tropical waves that are working their way on towards the east. We're also seeing some areas of some stronger wind shear across the Caribbean, lighter winds as you head further out into the Atlantic. But remember, we've got a lot of that dry air in place. So in some of the areas that we have better conditions as far as the winds are concerned, we have the dry air. So right now you're just not finding one of these spots that has all the ingredients in place, at least for now. So you look at the water temperatures and that's what we're talking about. That very warm water. This is the sea surface temperature anomaly. So we're comparing how warm it is compared to the average. And that's what you see in all of these orange and yellow shades. That is all water that is warmer than the average and what you're noticing here as you get into some of those darker shades that it's much, much warmer than the average. So as we look at the Fox model over the next several days, looking at about five days here, we're not seeing any significant development with any of these tropical waves for at least for now. Things stay quiet across the tropics and we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.